It didn't take long for idle hopefuls to learn their fate at the auditions in Jacksonville on Wednesday. For those not advancing to the next round, learning that it was over before it began was difficult. I got a lot of facial expressions. I could tell when I was doing well and when I wasn't. And at the end, they just gave a general comment to the four of us saying that we all had great voices, but it just wasn't what they were looking for. Um, I think it was a really good experience. Um, I think the whole atmosphere as far as singing in the, in the arena with everybody around you, it kind of forces you to deal with your like nervousness and stuff like that. So it was a good experience. But for those moving on, the experience seemed surreal. Yes, well, we were the first ones that went, the very first group. And uh, we were all winners from um, smaller contests. I'm the, I was the Baton Rouge Idol. And um, so the four of us went up and they said, you sing, you sing, you sing, just in a row. And then I was the only one chosen out of our group. But it was very nerve-wracking but exciting. Outside the stadium, emotions flew as media outlets waited to speak to those advancing to the next round. No one was as anxious to hear the results as idol hopeful Julie Watkins. We first met Julie and her boyfriend Ryan Blair, both Jacksonville natives, at registration on Monday. Just trying not to talk for the hey, next day. We ain't been day. singing. We ain't really been singing. Everybody else has been singing. So. We let everybody else do their glamour and spotlight. We're going to save ours. Julie was frustrated to learn that she was not moving on, but before leaving the arena, she learned that Ryan was. I want to cry for myself, but I want to be so happy for him. It's going to be tears of joy. <laughs> it's not even going to be sad tears. Right here. Right here. Jacksonville, Florida. Yeah, right. Feels great. A little hungry. Ready to go eat? I uh, just put all my passion into my music. I did a real short, short uh, little set, but when I did it, I did it from the heart. Yeah, I was out here Sunday night at 10 o'clock. We slept on the curb, and uh, we had a great time. A lot of these people have got a lot of energy, a lot of, a lot of talent out here. There's a lot of people that didn't make it in that room that should be there before me, but uh, I just happened to put it down and do a good job. So. <laughs> You can see more from those that did and didn't make it to the next round of American Idol, plus photo galleries and additional videos from the event at jacksonville.com slash mikemania. For jacksonville.com, I'm Amanda Warford.